Hi kids, are you enjoying your weekend? Noah, you forgot your lunchbox in school yesterday. Oh my, I'm so sorry. Thank you for bringing it to me, Miss Julie. Miss Julie, I'm so glad you're here. My mom went to the store and we've been trying to arrange the living room. Will you help us, please? Of course, Noah, I'm glad to help. Welcome to another journey through numbers, right in the comfort of a living room. Join our friends, Lily and Noah, as we embark on an adventure of ordering numbers. Hi, Miss Julie. We are ready to learn how to sort numbers in our living room. Ordering numbers is like arranging objects in a specific order. We can arrange them from the smallest to largest or from the largest to smallest. Let's start with these books. I see the books, but how do we know which one is the smallest or the largest? Excellent question, Noah. We'll look at the numbers on the books. The number with the smallest value is the smallest book, and the one with the largest value is the largest book. Let's try it. So we have 12, 19, 8, and 25. The smallest number is 8, so the next number should be 12 then 19 and 25. The largest number is 25. Exactly, Lily. You've just sorted the books from smallest to largest. Now let's try it the other way around, from largest to smallest. Noah, can you arrange these phases, please? Now, the largest number is 44, then 32, 21, and 17. The smallest is 17. Fantastic job, both of you. You're mastering ordering numbers using objects from your living room. Can I ask a question, Miss Julie? Yes, Lily. Please go on. We've been able to sort out books and vases from the smallest to the largest. Are these the only objects we can sort? Wonderful question. You can sort anything. You can even sort groups. Now imagine you have a basket with different fruits three apples, four bananas, two oranges, and one watermelon. You can arrange the fruits in order from the smallest to the largest group. That would be one watermelon, two oranges, three apples, and four bananas. We can also sort the kitchen utensils on the counter. I want to arrange them from smallest to largest value. If we have nine spoons, four pots, one pan, five knives, then we have one pan, four pots, five knives, and nine spoons. Well done, my amazing number sorters. Today, you've sorted numbers using objects from your living room, understanding how to order them from smallest to largest and largest to smallest. Keep practicing and you become number sorting experts.